Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, it took me a little bit of, uh, of time from my last one because I moved to Mexico with the team. I'm in the team house right now, got settled in and everything. So as you guys can see, uh, there's a PC right behind me and everything like that. So uh, I'm all settled in now. Uh, practice is starting, so obviously it took a toll on me a bit, but I'm right back in the grind. So today I want to just discuss a really big topic, I would say, that a lot of pros like simple... Nico and those get asked on the live streams pretty much ever so often. Um, it's consistency, how to stay consistent and how to improve consistently uh, in Counter Strike. It's a topic that a lot of pros just say, uh, like grind, you have to play, you have to DM, you have to do this, and you have to do that. Uh, don't really give you a proper explanation, so we're gonna go over like the steps that I think are necessary in order to achieve those things. We're first gonna speak about ways to improve. So I have three categories that I'm going to expand on each and I'm going to give you guys a little rundown on why is it beneficial to do all of them. So the first one is demo watching. Self demo watching versus pro demo watching. So why, sh why should you watch your own demos? You should watch your own demos and see what you could have done in the, in the situation a bit better. For example, if you watch your own demo on a pog in a match or whatever and you notice a way that you died or a way that uh, you got flashed or anything like that or got flanked you kind of need to ask yourself a question you need to ask yourself could you prevent it, that death if so how and if you can prevent that death and you can give yourself a little rundown on how that's gonna basically improve you on the next time you encounter that, situ that situation uh, there are some benefits on pro demo watching as well so for example you watch props or you watch Nico or you watch any other pro you want and you watch his POV, so you watch his point of view of the game. And you notice things he does, you gotta ask yourself also some questions. You gotta ask yourself why he does a certain thing and the certain timing. Uh, is it because of his teammate? Is it because the information he, he got or he didn't have? And you can take plays from professional players and try to implement them into your own game and create your, your own gameplay. So always keep up with the meta from the pros, but at the same time, notice your own mistakes and how you can improve on those mistakes. Now the second category is how to warm up. I don't really like to give my players a warm up routine on like, okay, you do aimbots or you do deathmatch or you do anything like that. Uh, you got a lot of tools nowadays. You got aim labs, you got multiple uh, maps that you can download from the workshop like aimbots, and you got deathmatch obviously. So you need to find yourself what makes you the best player that you are. You need to think about the best day that you had as a player. So for example, uh, I don't know, you played an official or you played a pug or you played anything um, and you find yourself really successful that day. And for example, you did a thousand aimbots kills and a thousand deathmatch kills as an example. You need to kind of like ca categorize it and make sure that you are going to do the same thing. So for example, uh, in aimbots you would want to do like, I don't know, 200 DSP kills, 300 deagle kills, then the rest is going to be M4 or AK. Same thing with deathmatch, you want to categorize it and make sure that you follow through in your warm-up routine and make sure that you do the same thing because that what made you successful that same day that you played your best at. Obviously, uh, sometimes it can get stagnant a bit and you would need to change it up, but we'll touch on it a bit later than that. But the warm-up routine you should have is basically uh, either aimbots, I don't know, any other maps, aim labs, deathmatch, whatever makes you comfortable and whatever doesn't burn you out from playing, basically. So you want to keep continuing playing official games or practice games or pod games and everything like that. So the third category is optional and it's movement practice. Uh, it's like doing KZ or surf. If you notice like you can't hit jumps in games or can't surf or can't like your movement is really like slow or you notice that people kill you because of your movement that you can jump away from situations you would want to like put a bit more time into playing a surf map or a KZ map to make sure that your movement is on point and obviously uh, put in time in that as well make sure that it's part of your warm-up routine and make sure you also do it every single day. Now we're going to talk about how to stay consistent, which is the most important part. We spoke about like warm-up routines and we spoke about uh, KZs and how you should approach demo watching and stuff like that. But how do you create a routine? 
So as we said, in your warm-up routine, you want to take your best day and try to replicate it. So you want to do whatever you did in that best day and make sure it's a warm-up routine. For example, if you don't have school or you don't have work, you wake up at a certain time and you go into that match or you go into aimbots or you go into whatever you want to do. And you incorporate the demo watching as well. So for example, you do two demos a day. So one your own, one of your own demos and one of your favorite pro demo or whatever. Or you can do two pro demos and two self demos or more whatever makes you comfortable at the end of the day. Um, and you want to incorporate that in the routine. As well as make sure that the routine of the aim warm up and the KZ or whatever you want to do is the same. So as we spoke about doing 200 USP kills, 200 Deagle kills, 200 Glock kills, whatever it is. Make sure you do it every single day at the same amount and you don't overdo it or do it less. You don't really want to do more before important matches because it can boost your consistency for that match but then lower it down for the next one because you overdid something if you have like another match afterwards. Uh, you want to keep it in a consistent level and do the same thing every single day to make sure that you're on top of your game every single time and you don't really like have those jumps so you basically are doing the same thing every single day and you know that your consistency relies on that so what happens if you just notice that you don't get any improvement anymore or don't get any consistency anymore uh you would want to change up the routine generally like uh the warm-up routine so you would want to for example take less demo do less demos or do more demos uh change up the way that you warm up your aim so, for example, you can, I don't know, if you did aim boss, you can switch to the de deathmatch now, to DM. Uh, or if, for example, you did do aim boss, but in a certain way, you can change it up and do different kills, different spray, spray patterns. For, for example, you notice your spray is bad, so you will start practicing on your spray more. But at the same time, when you change that routine, you still want to stick to this routine. You don't want to change up the routine every single day. You want to find what's working for you and keep doing that for as long as you can. I'd say a routine should last around three months two to three months that's basically like the time span that i give my players and that's like basically what you should rely on so what you will notice that the, the decrease of improvement i wouldn't say you won't improve but you won't improve as fast in about two months and then you should switch it up to something else and you should find something that works for you better in, the, in those two months this was uh, quite a short video but i uh, just wanted to explain like some of the key parts of being consistent and how to stay consistent and improve consistently um i hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot as you guys can see again i'm in the tm house right now so um yeah videos are not going to be two times a week right now they're going to be uh, once a week i'd assume i'll try to do my best in terms of like putting out content as much as i can obviously as as i say all the time make sure you drop down in the comments like whatever you want to see next make sure you like you subscribe and all of that and you share this video because i'm sure a lot of people uh do want to see that those type of videos um but yeah as i said if you want to be as consistent as players like crops like nico like simple like yakin there even as an entry uh you would want to make sure that you do the same thing every single day and make sure you improve on it consistently every single day um so yeah i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video and as always i hope it helped i'll see you guys on the next one and i really really hope i can put a lot of content out nowadays cheers